Kano Nigeria. It is one o'clock and I bring to you politics and business one o'clock news updates. My name is Idris Amina. On the news at this hour, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and Ambra State Command has arrested four suspects involved in the illegal mining activities in the state. The state NC NSCDC Commandant Marco Alatinde, while parading the suspects in Oka, the state's capital on Friday, stated that the arrests were in collaboration with the Federal Mines Officer, Ministry of Solid Minerals Development in Anambra State. Alatinde said the arrests were made on Thursday in strict compliance with directives of the Commandant General to end illegal mining activities across the country. He gave the names of the suspects and also added that they were apprehended at around 1 p.m. at the toll gate Ogunike in the Oyi local government area of the state. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board has released the results of candidates who participated in the supplementary Unifar Tertiary Matriculation Examination conducted between June 21 and 22, 2024. This board spokesperson, Dr. Fabian Benjamin, stated this in a statement in Abuja on Friday. According to JAMP, 28,835 applicants who were not able to provide biometric verification during the main 2024 UTME took the supplementary exam. In a similar vein, the board stated that students who were given a second opportunity to take the exam was those who were suspected of engaging in examination misconduct during the main UTME comprised the other category of candidates. President Bola Tinubu on Thursday gave all the state governors seven days to provide concrete feedback on their plans to rev up food production in their respective states. Tinubu gave the directive at the 442nd National Economic Council meeting attended by state governors and some deputies at the state house, Abuja. He also announced the National Construction and Household Support Program, which will see 100,000 families in each state getting 50,000 Naira grants for three months, 155 billion Naira to be disposed for assorted food, 540 billion Naira for household grants, even as Texas State and the Federal Capital Territory will get 10 billion Naira allocation each for CNG buses. The 50,000 Naira plan for 3.7 million families across the Texas State and the FCT, the 10 billion Naira allocation each for CNG buses in the Texas State and the FCT, as well as a 155 billion Naira spending on assorted foods, are estimated to cost over 1 trillion Naira. On the foreign space, junior hospital doctors in England on Thursday began a five-day strike, a week before a general election in which the state of the publicly funded National Health Service is a major issue. It follows nearly a dozen similar actions by doctors below the specialist consultant level over the last 18 months. The NHS is grappling with a massive backlog caused by the COVID-19 pandemic in exacerbated by the repeated doctor strike as well as delays to operations and starting cancer treatment. An increasingly dissatisfied public also face long wait to see a doctor at their local surgery. The doctors have been asking for 35% pay restoration as a starting position amid the cost of living crisis. They have said they will call off the action if Conservative Prime Minister Rishi Sunak comes to the table with a credible commitment to increase their pay. <coughs> now to sports. Manchester United are hopeful of offloading Marcus Rashford in the summer transfer window after making a decision regarding the forwards' future at Old Trafford. Paris Saint-Germain reportedly retained an interest in signing the forward despite his dramatic loss of form through the last season when he was boarded, when he also boarded head with management over off-field issues. The 26-year-old had a tough time in front of goal last season, netting just seven Premier League goals in 33 matches to follow up a 2022-2023 season where he scored 30 goals in all competitions. It was that 2022-2023 season that convinced Manchester United to offer him a five-year deal at a salary of £300,000 a week. That decision now appears to have been taken prematurely at their will. They will be hopeful of getting some return on their investment if VSG are serious in the pursuit of Rashford. Thank you for staying tuned. I'll be back shortly with 3 o'clock news updates. I remain Idris Amina.